to be happy and have hope. Some of the greatest privileges and wonders we can enjoy in our lives. To have real hope and to be really happy. And the wonder is that you can be happy and hopeful. And mostly because God guarantees it. So we come at the end, or to the end rather, of this series on hope and happiness. And I would like to just pull a few things together and share a few last thoughts with you. How you and I can really be happy and hopeful and, and not in a, in a temporary sense, but really keep on being happy and hopeful. And also acknowledging that even if sadness comes our way or difficult things, but we can bounce back and be hopeful again and be happy again. And that comes from God. That is not uh, obtained through your local dealer of hope and happiness. Uh, it doesn't work like that. So I've come across this wonderful psalm written by King David, the famous king of Israel. Uh, psalm 16, which to me is an, in a sense a summary of, of the road to happiness and hope. And I want to just quote one or two things from it and leave that with you in summary. David starts this wonderful psalm off by saying, and I'm reading from the New King James Version, it says it in a specific way. Preserve me, O God, for in you I put my trust. And if I can encourage you how to be hopeful and have real happiness, is don't put your trust in anything or anyone else but God. Put your trust in the Lord. He will not fail you. Things will fail you. Economies will go up and down. Politicians will come and go. Friends may even leave you, but God remains faithful. He is our source of hope. He goes on to say, um, Oh my soul, you've said to the Lord. So David's speaking to himself. He says, You are my Lord. And for me, that's the other source of eternal hope and happiness. That for us as believers, Christian believers, our hope and happiness does not come... Uh, from things or people, it comes from our connection with the living God, with Jesus Christ, and that we can say, very importantly, not just I believe in Jesus, but actually that I can say, Jesus, you are Lord of my life, which means that my trust and my faith is in Him to have the final say in my life. And if you are connected to Jesus in that way, you will be assured of one thing, he will always replenish your hope and He will always give you new happiness. At the end of the psalm, and I'm kind of jumping the, the gun here, but David ends the psalm by saying about Jesus and God rather, but for us, Jesus in reality. He says, you will show me the path of life, not the path of destruction, because Jesus came with the promise, I will give you life and life more abundantly. That's a hope giver. But out of that, he also says, in your presence is fullness of joy. Sounds like happiness to me. Is fullness of joy. Then he goes on to say, at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Sounds to me like a place of joy, happiness and hope. But please make the connection here. It is by a life connected to the presence of Jesus, not religion, not just doing a few acts that look pious, but actually being connected to the presence of God through Jesus. And remember, that's part of the reason why Jesus came, is to open up the way again for us to be in fellowship with our Father, being forgiven, restored in relationship, and that we can come into His presence. So please note this. If you're looking for hope, if you're looking for happiness, focus on Jesus. And through Jesus, please enter into this joyful thing of living in the presence of your loving, caring, heavenly Father. But I want to go back to one other verse. It says in verse 9, it's like a summary where hope and happiness comes together. David says, because the Lord is my God, because I've put my trust in Him and because I know I can live in His presence, he comes to this conclusion. Therefore, my heart is glad. Sounds to me like happiness. And my glory rejoices. Just meaning that who I am, I'm, I'm full of rejoicing. He says, and then my flesh, my, my physical, natural human being will also rest in hope. So there's hope and there's happiness. 
from our relationship and connection with Jesus and living in the presence of our wonderful Heavenly Father on a daily basis. I pray that that will be your experience. So Lord, I ask that you will give such happiness and hope to every person who chooses, Lord, to put their trust in you, make you the Lord of their lives, and seek to live in your presence. And Lord, that they will, through that, become a testimony to others around us in the world, that we are hope givers and there's hope in God. Hope in Jesus as the living hope. I pray that every person, every believer that watches this will become such a testimony of hope and happiness to those that they rub shoulders with every day. I bless them in Jesus' name. Amen.